Nice. Hello everyone, I'm Steven from Exco Gane Blog and Photography. In today's video, I'll be giving this press figurine wax here by Furio a short review. This is Lakshmi Bai, a Saber class servant from Fate Grand Order. And she was only released last month, around 20th of November, at least according to my figurecollection.net. And if that was the actual release date, the official release date, that meant that I have already owned her since the release date itself. Because I acquired a copy from the factory, Furious factory in China itself. So this is her box and behind here you see there is a large sticker in Chinese, let, uh, Chinese words complete with the address of their factory over in China. I haven't had the time to review her until right now because I was busy with my photography projects. Right, anyway, back to this figurine. Lakshmi Bai, for her character background, she was a leader in an uprising against the British Empire back in the 17th century in India. So back between 16th to 19th century around that period British colonized a number of countries in Southeast Asia and in Asia in general including my own country Malaysia so she was a leader in uh, against the British Empire and shortly after she died in a battle so that was her short character background as for the figurine itself this is a very small figurine even by price figure standards she stands 180 millimeters tall or 18 centimeters including the base and with the base looking like about one centimeter tall so the figurine should be around 17 centimeters only which is closer to around 1 by 9 scale if I were to bring in a price figure by Sega as you can see, there's a major difference right here. The Sega is closer to 1x8 scale in size. However, I'm happy with the fact that this price figure is on the small side because I do not like putting a large budget on photographing price figurines. And the fact that she is small size meant that my props can be smaller. I don't have to spend too much making them. And then we move on to the comparisons with the official product photo by Furio itself. If you were to ask me between the product photo and the actual product itself, whether there are any major differences, I would say that they look about 90% alike, which is good news. The consistency is there. And what about the slight 10% difference that I'm seeing? I would say largely on her complexion, the actual figurine looks a bit darker. But I'm not sure that if this is entirely true compared to the prototype Furio hat because when it comes to photography, lighting can change how a product looks like in photographs. Maybe when I give her a proper setup in studio for photography, she might look fairer as well. We won't know. I haven't tried it yet. So that's one thing to bear in mind. And then we move on to the sculpt and the paint job. For her sculpt, there is nothing much to complain on uh, in this aspect, except for the usual mold lines you will see at the side of the figurine. For example, her arm right here at the side, you can see a mold line, which is very common for price figurines because they are a low budget product so naturally you are going to see more lines and other manufacturer slight manufacturer defects but these more lines are present in pretty much every price figure i've came across so far so i wouldn't call it a defect fortunately it is not very visible uh, visible right here on this figurine for the paint job of this figurine is exactly what that impressed me a bit considering the fact that this is a price figure i wasn't setting my standards high 
So if you take a look at the figurine, inspect it from head to toe, I just really couldn't find any major flaws. If you would take a look at her hair right here, it is impressively clean, the paint job, and there were even slight hints of shading, of weathering at the tips right here. So the paint job of, uh, on her hair is unusually good for a price figure. Most price figures, they only focus on the front and they will mess up somewhere on the back, but not for this Lakshmi Bai figure. And then the major detail points, her rifle and her sword. There is a pack right here on her palm of her, of her right hand. You plug it in so it is quite secure. The rifle is very impressive in the detail department, right? And then if you ask me if there are any negative points about this figurine, yes, uh, there is one, at least on my copy, there is only one flaw and that is a rifle. If you look at the, her rifle from the top, the tip looks slightly bent to the right, at least to me. So this normally isn't something that you would notice when you display the figure on a shelf. On a shelf. So yeah, this is one thing to watch out for and it might be only my copy. The one you purchase if you decide to might not be bent in this case. It's just ever so slightly bent. So normally you won't notice it when it is on your shelf. To conclude this review, should you get one of these? Yes, I mean, if you are a fan of Fate Grand Order in general, even if you are not a fan of the character itself, if you have $20 to spare, which is about Malaysian 80 ringgit, just get one because she is very affordable, price figurine. And personally, I don't see any possibility of an actual scale figure, a $200 scale figure of her being made by any major figure companies soon because she is a relatively niche character. Well, perhaps if she is popular enough in Japan because figuring decisions, what company makes, what a company decides to make in their product line depends on how popular it is in Japan. It has nothing to do with us, the overseas customers. So if she is popular enough in Japan, some figuring company will pick her up sooner or later. If not, this is probably your only option. And even if you pick up this one only for a skilled figure company to come up with a proper one later on, there's nothing to regret about because this is extremely affordable. So yeah, that is all about the review of this figurine. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.